So it's the end of summer, beginning of fall, and you need a transition drink. And basically, I think that's what this is. This is the Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. So, of course, most of the hard seltzers are targeted after the female demographic, mm -hmm. I believe, uh, most mm -hmm. of the marketing. This one is aiming straight towards us. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have a variety pack, and we're going to try three of those flavors today. we got Wild Cherry, Lemon Lime, and what's the other one? Water watermelon, I do believe. Um, so we'll try all three of them let you know uh, what it tastes like. Now, these are a little bit different because with electrolytes. Oh, I need, can. yeah, so. these electrolytes are good. They'll keep me rejuvenated for the day after I get a few seltzers. Then I can go out back and water my lawn a little bit with the electrolytes, you know, because it's, <laughs> it's good for the agriculture. Water your lawn with a seltzer. That's right. That's right. Now, Jones is right. There hasn't been a lot of seltzers that target uh, dudes and dads. Right. Uh, so that's that's different. You know, Mike's Hard Lemonade, that's kind of how they came into the market. They didn't, they went right after the right. hard working blue collar dudes. And this is uh, 100 uh, calories in a can. So it's pretty low calorie for at least for a seltzer. I mean, I guess that's average probably. Probably average. Probably average for that. What, what flavor is this one? With, Cherry. Uh, with electrolytes. They're yeah. very proud of their electrolytes. So, like, I could go shoot some hoops after drinking this. <laughs> that's the point. Now, Tyler is going to be more of a seltzer fan than what I am, because you occasionally drink them, right? I have a pool, mm -hmm. so unfortunately, they're always at my house. If you saw my fridge in the garage, it looks like a seltzer family threw up in there. <laughs> Would you consider this a uh, right about the line as far as flavor with a seltzer? Because in my mind, seltzers are tamed down from what I normally drink is the hard stuff, the you know the sodas basically. This is uh, light. I it is. It is. It is. It is tamed down. I think that's a good description of it. Um, oh yeah, it, and it's not like so light that it's just you have to have it by the pool and it's outdoors. So there is a little bit of substance to it. So I do like that about it. the flavor. Actually, for the wild cherry, is pretty solid. Yeah. So it doesn't taste like cough syrup. That's what I was worried no, about. No, overall, actually, Happy Dad here. It's, it's a nice product if you're into the into the hard seltzers, which are. The, are we in like hard seltzer season then, I guess? Or not? Yeah, it's kind of in between, yeah, I guess. In between. It's seltzer, it's a, summer, it's and fall. It's a tweener. Yeah, it it's is a, a tweener. tweener. This would be a good one after you mow the yard and maybe you uh, blow out the leaves. This yeah. might be a good drink. Kind of like Jones, you know. Did he play varsity? Did he play junior varsity? Uh, high school varsity. Get some, get I was no tweener on that get one. Get some run no. on both teams. He was <laughs> a tweener. <laughs> this is the lemon lime. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Jones. You found the hard Mountain Dew recently. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, he found the Holy very, Grail. Very hard to find, and uh, it was delicious. It doesn't hold back anything on the flavors. Like the, these are way lighter than what Hard Mountain Dew is. Yeah, this one's this one's almost this one's lighter almost. I think it's too light. Yeah, the li yeah. the lemon and a lime flavor is very faint. Yep, it's this. So this one gets me back to just like almost seltzer seltzer, right? That's what the lemon lime feels like. If you want something lighter with Happy Dad, yeah. the lemon lime is going to be the way to go because it's it's just it's the lightest so far. Wild cherry had a good uh, nice little punch to it. I would mix this with something stronger. Mm -hmm. I think on the last show we recommend vodka with one of the. We, rec we this, recommend this be, vodka with a lot vodka. of different things. I don't know what I would recommend to mix with Wicked Pickle. <laughs> I did consider vomit, Bloody Mary. Yeah, but that's true. whiskey in my Bloody Mary <laughs> sounds absolutely horrible. That'll so. wake you up in the morning. I think because most that'll, people have a Bloody Mary in the morning. That'll right? put After some night hair on your chest. What do you mm. say for old guys like us that already have hair on their chest? <laughs> hair in your ears. Oh, that's sounds got, about right. have you, have you That'll put that? some hair on your ears. <laughs> have you started to get hair in your ears yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm a blonde kind of guy. I know it doesn't seem like it, but like most of my hair is blonde. Mm. So it's just like blonde. Maybe white. I don't know. I'm old, so it could be white hair. Got the tuft. Yeah, a little, a little tuft. tuft. I got a little mm -hmm. tuft going in mm -hmm. there. You got to sometimes trim that. <laughs> all right. This one's a watermelon. We'll try last year. All right. All right. Let's show Let's them see. the can here. There we go. That's the watermelon. Happy day. I just, a few of these would make you happy, I'd say. I think, ooh, that's surprising. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get his initial reaction. Hmm. Hit you a little bit stronger, especially after having the lemon lime that was so light. Um, out of all of them, I think this they do is a the nice, sweetest. Yeah, they do a nice job with that flavor too, actually. This one tastes like if a uh, Jolly Rancher dropped inside of your uh, club soda. That's what I would compare this to. Are you, so you're talking about like when my wife was, you know, a sophomore in high school and she put a Jolly Rancher in her Zima? 
Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, Zima is a little bit stronger than I think most seltzers. You yeah. know, it has more potent flavor. Are they still around? They can't. They had a resurgence. They, they did have a resurgence, ago, but, but I, I don't know if they're still around. I haven't heard, the market's pretty flooded right <laughs> yeah, now. That's true. It's, it's tough to stand out. It's tough to be uh, something different uh, with all these new <laughs> products coming out. That's a good play. Uh, so if you had to pick your your top flavors, uh, you know, do a one, two, three here: cherry, lemon, lime, watermelon. Which one? You okay, this is gonna be weird. Okay. okay? Uh, I like watermelon. It's one of my favorite flavors. They do it very well. I probably picked that. But I think that they do the wild cherry the best. Like for all the consumers out there, wild cherry would be number one for me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go watermelon just because I'm really surprised by that. I didn't expect that much flavor, so I go watermelon, wild cherry, then lemon lime after that. Now, for a warning, with all seltzers, you get the burps. I mean, we, we, oh, we, the burps yeah. are inevitable. It's a you know yeah. that carbonation that comes out quick. You're sitting by the pool and you just burpity burps. <laughs> All right, so Happy Dad, not too bad. You can find it at your local liquor booth at 36 of Broadway or at 12th and Locust. Um, something new. It's, it's the tweener, right? The tweener. The tweener. Your tweener season, baby. 